Each recipient of the Governor's Award receives a commemorative piece of Wisconsin art. This year, Ruth DeYoung Kohler, a leading authority on folk art traditions and self-taught artists, has selected and helped acquire five original works by Hmong needlework artist Zhao Yang Li. Sao Yang Li is a Hmong woman who lives here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. She and her family moved to Wisconsin following the Vietnam War, in which many of the Hmong people living in Laos were persecuted afterwards and needed to leave their homeland and find a new land. Sao's first husband worked for the CIA during the Vietnam War. And after the fall of Saigon in 1975, like many Hmong, he disappeared and she never learned of his fate. Knowing that her life and her children's lives were also in jeopardy, she made the decision to get her family out of Laos and they made their way through the jungle down to the Mekong River where they crossed in a perilous crossing into the refugee camps in Thailand. While she was there, started to refocus her energies and put her needle skills toward providing for her and her children. The Hmong traditional needle skills are a very ancient art form. They go back thousands of years. The pandao is the traditional form and that translates to flower cloth. When the Hmong found themselves in the refugee camps, one of the ways that they were able to earn some extra income was to adapt to these flower cloths that were usually smaller and attached to the clothing. They found that the tourists were interested in buying those and the flower cloths became pieces unto themselves. And in the refugee camps, something totally new um, began among the Hmong women practicing their needle skills, they had really never been able to tell their story in Laos. A story of persecution, of great challenge, tremendous loss, and they began to communicate that story with pictures told through embroidery on cloth. And these cloths that became known as story cloths also became very popular item for sale. And so it served a twofold purpose, that they could communicate in a way that bypassed language, and they could also earn the extra money they needed to take care of their families. Sow's story cloths go into great detail, and the story is easy to understand, and she really just brings her special craftsmanship to them, and they become really incredible devices for telling the story. We're really lucky to have an artist like Sao Yang Li in our community because not only is she carrying on with something that is traditional and ancient, but she also has an incredibly high standard that she puts upon herself, knowing that she represents her mother and her grandmother and her tribe and her people and her country and their entire history. And she really has become recognized as one of the foremost needle workers in the state. Sao has come up with a variety of muted color schemes, things that are different and definitely mark her as an individual artist. The exhibition that's currently on view at the John Michael Kohler Art Center is called American Story. And Sao was included to be one of the 15 artists because she represents a story that is not very well known in the greater fabric of American culture and what they endured and how they supported the American government in the Vietnam War. Sao practices her needlework all day, every day, and she never gives up an inch on the quality of her work. She understands that she wants this work to represent her and her family and her people and to really live on. That's the legacy that she'll leave behind. Although she has handed this skill down to the best of her ability to her daughters and granddaughters, she's the first to admit that they will never 
devote their entire life to this particular craft in the way that she has. And she's saddened by that, but she also is very happy by the success that her family has achieved here. The pandaos that people are receiving today are very special. They really encapsulate a culture and a history and a people. And when you have a piece of that, it's a treasure that embodies something far greater than the piece itself. It is a living story. Yeah, they choose the right one to the, uh, the panda, the good one. But I'm very happy because I made it not easy to make for me. I made very hard, but they choose the right one. I'm happy. Sao's work is something special in our community that reminds us that the Hmong history is very much intertwined with Wisconsin's history, and these are really, really pieces to be treasured.